Hey, last night, the First Tee of Utah held its annual fundraising banquet and also unveiled the inaugural Billy Casper Humanitarian Award. Now, Billy passed away nearly three years ago. Billy won a Masters and two U.S. Opens and always was there to help kids. So this is to honor him, the first Casper Humanitarian Award going to sisters Jasmine and Asia Lee as they started a foundation called Girls on Par, which raises money and collects golf clubs to give to young girls so they can enjoy golf with their friends. It's an awesome project. Now, one of the speakers at the event last night, Mike Weir, the 2003 Masters champ, Mike spent 110 weeks in the top three in the world, but then his career was sidelined by injuries. Mike will turn 48 in May, and he plans on heading out to the web.com tour to try to make it back to the PGA Tour before moving on to the Champions Tour. Can you believe this year will be 15 years since you donned the green jacket? <laughs> no, I can't believe it. A, it doesn't feel that long ago. I mean, it feels a while ago, but yeah, it doesn't feel 15 years. So I guess in some regards, it's a bit of a milestone, you know, when I go back. But, um, you know, it's creeping up on us. You know, it's not only a couple months away now. You were dealt some injuries that kind of sidelined your career for a while. How are you health-wise? Okay. You know, I'm okay. <laughs> Battle a few things. You get, you know, creeping 48 now. So, um, all in all, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you're going to go out on the web.com tour here soon and maybe play some events to stay sharp for when you turn 50 in a couple of years. Yeah, I am. You know, this. Every guy that I've talked to on the Champions Tour said, you know, you have to stay sharp going out there. Guys are still competitive. Um, you know, I can't expect to not play for a couple of years and get out there and, and not be ready. So, um, and at the same time, I'm still motivated, you know, still motivated to try to get back on the tour next year. You know, I'd love to get out there on the web and play well and get in that top 25 and, and play a full year on the PGA Tour next year. This has got to be a major challenge for you to get on the web.com tour and to try to make the top 25 so you can get back out on the tour. That's yeah. a challenge for anybody. It is. Let alone someone who's had to sit on the sideline for a few years with injuries. Yeah, it is. And, and I'm getting a late start. You know, the, the category I'll be in is, is all-time money. When you turn 48, there's a category for that. And, yeah. and But I don't turn 48 until May. So the, these guys have already had all these events, money built up. You know, I'm, I'm starting from behind, but, um, you know, if I have a really good summer, you know, I can I can cruise right in there, hopefully, to that top 25, and they have that, you know, those playoff events in September, those four playoff yeah. events, and hopefully I'll be, and you know, that's what I need, Rod, is to play a regular schedule and play some events. I think I played six or seven events last year. You can't, it's really hard to stay sharp when you only play few and far between. You need consistency of playing week to week.